All right, so um, I'm going to show you guys. This is the Ahi Tuna Poke Bowl. It's on the cover, actually, of the 21 Day Sugar Detox Ooh, cookbook. There it is on the cover. Here's the recipe here. So I am going to make the whole sauce recipe, and I'm actually just going to cut down on the oil a little bit because of my meal plan. As you guys all know, the meal plan that I'm on right now is a little bit reduced fat. We need to get our knives sharpened, so these are... Not super sharp. I actually really love this recipe. And you could use this with chicken, like real, you know, cooked chicken, cooked tuna from a can. You don't have to do it with ahi tuna. You can use the sauce and uh, this dressing and get the flavors and it's super yummy. You don't have to worry that if you can't find ahi tuna, you can't at least get, you know, the essence of the recipe going. This is a poke, you guys, which is a raw, a fish dish. This one is ahi tuna. I just get this stuff on Amazon, you guys. So this is the organic rice vinegar that I use. This is also sour, you guys. Just like the citrus is sour. But rice vinegar actually has almost like a little bit of a sweet note to it. I'm going to use, let's see, I think I'm going to use four teaspoons of sesame oil. So four teaspoons is actually one tablespoon plus one teaspoon. Here's coconut aminos. You can get these on Amazon, any Whole Foods. Most, most healthy grocery stores have them now. I'm just gonna do a pinch of salt and some black pepper, some fresh black pepper, just because I know I'm gonna like it like that. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna stick, this is just for me. That tastes awesome. It tastes really, really good. Um, the sesame flavor is really strong. So I'm calling for a quarter of a cup of sliced green onions in this recipe. So there you go. So see how that's nice and like those onions will marinate in there and it'll kind of permeate the sauce. So it's going to make the sauce taste like have that little bit more of that spicy kind of oniony, green oniony bite, even though green onions are pretty mild. I'm actually going to put the rest of them in there. And then um, I'm going to put a little bit of the sesame seeds in here. More of that will be used for garnish, but I'm going to put a tiny bit of them in there. I might actually recommend a cold pressed peanut oil. You kind of want that flavor. You want that either a peanut or a sesame flavor um, to give it that Asian flavor. So here's a, a quick tip, you guys. If you are going to be doing um, meat and veggies, fish, etc., on the same board, make sure you chop the veggies first. Um, everything that's here on the board still is just going to be discarded. So now I can chop the fish. It's okay to chop veggies and then fish, but you wouldn't want to chop fish and then veggies. So I'm going to chop this into chunks. And what I'm going to do is just take, um, take some of the dressing and I'm just going to uh, use a little bit at a time to get it to the point. I think this is going to be three servings. So, so that made three quarters of a cup. So that's actually perfect. What I'm gonna do is measure a quarter of a cup. And um, the cool thing is I actually am using a little less fat than per serving than I thought I was using. And that looks really, really good. Uh, they usually have it marked as sushi grade or ask them. I mean, they'll tell you if it's not sushi grade because they don't want you to go home and eat it raw if it's not safe because you're gonna come back and sue them. Um, most grocery stores actually might not have sushi grade. Whole Foods might, or like a really high-end grocery store. Hi guys, there's Dr. Scott. That's it. I'm going to eat this with, I have some sea snacks. I'm going to break these up and mix them in. They taste really good. This looks really good. I'm so pumped about it. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? For those of you who like raw fish. <laughs> Oh, you want me to taste it? This is like the Food Network. I want it to sit and marinate. You have to take a big bite and then go shake awesome. your head and go, mmm. Yeah, it's awesome. It tastes, <laughs> I'm super psyched about it. If you had orange juice somehow or something and you mixed that in, that would be really good. Like one, just a little tablespoon of splash. All right, guys, thanks for being here. I'm going to go eat. Bye, you guys.